Hi friends, hello everyone. Welcome back to Heart Home Travel. In this video, we are going to go to an event. The event is about a new way of transport, new mode of transport. Uh, it, is, it is called Unit Sky. So we will be going to the Sharjah uh, Research Technology and Innovation Park. The event, uh, they will be showcasing the new mode of transport and they will be also doing demos of the, of the transport uh, mode. So let's go. So left side longer than the building Terida and the brown color building Angadanam Pora Bo and right side park panter so park panite we'll go to the building So Ningyapu Park is the passenger station. So this is how the station will look like, one of the designs of the station. And uh, if you see, there's a string which goes from the station and then there are the beams. So this is one type of beam and on the other side you will see another arch type of beam. And uh, these beams will support uh, the strings on which the passenger cars will travel on. So they're saying, they have multiple designs of the passenger trains, uh, passenger cars, um, and uh, the speed varies. So most of them can uh, run at 150 kilometers per hour. And uh, there are some which will also be able to go up to 500 kilometers per hour, uh, depending on how the technology advances going forward. So they'll start with 150 kilometers per hour as the speed and uh, they also have the capability of going up to 500 kilometers per hour or more uh, depending on how the technology pans out so we're just going inside the passenger station right now uh, to take a test drive of the U Sky transport into this station where we are running as I told you test operations and if you go if you follow me So Yuxkai Transport has tied up with the Emirate of Sharjah to make it the first city in the world to use high-speed Skypod transportation. Now these pods which can travel at almost 150 kilometers per hour and some of them at the event today they also mentioned that some of them can travel at more than 500 kilometers per hour. Uh, these are suspended in the air on steel rails. The pods are currently being uh, tested out at the Sharjah Research Technology and Innovation Park, uh, which is very close to the Sharjah International Airport. Uh, Uskai Transport itself is part of Unitsky group of companies, which was founded by Dr. Anatoly Unitsky. He is a leading scientist and a visionary in the field of uh, transport. This new transport system includes string rail suspended overpasses and uh, rolling stock, which include cargo, 
urban and high speed intercity electro mobiles on steel wheels the cars themselves are categorized as passenger and cargo uh, cars the passenger cars are further categorized into u buses u cars and u bikes while the cargos are uh, you know categorized into u trucks and u cons So that, so that's how, that's how the car looks like from inside the vehicle. And this is how the road to the future looks like as well. So you are welcome on your own board of your car. That is, I think, the transport of future. This machine, this is state of the art from technology, innovation and other things. This machine can reach up to 150 kilometers per hour with, with very minimal energy consumption. Actually it moves, uh, battery moves in uh, this machine. And uh, of course here, because there's 400 meters, we cannot reach more than 45, I think, because the system is then start breaking. The machine is completely automatic. So it means that there is no human input except of just sitting and controlling the whole system. And um, of course you can see that it's very comfort, no vibration, no sound. It's, you are just sitting and enjoying. And uh, as I told you, the machine is uh, equipped with artificial intelligence, uh, technical vision and uh, automatic firefighting system, the system of evacuation of passengers. So all the systems that are required for transport of future, it is there, it is here. And of course it provides a lot of comfort, but the main thing that when, when you are traveling, it, we, are, we don't need the land. So we don't add congestion to the traffic, we don't add uh, land utilization, we don't need land utilization. And the main thing that construction of this uh, line is quite fast and cheap in comparison to other kind of transports. You mentioned in the, uh, sorry, your boss mentioned in the slide show, five million dollar per kilometer. Yes. So how much it costs here in Juhi, in charge Around like this. Around like this. Yes. Maybe a little bit more because it's still testing. We, yes, we were doing different types and we were replacing something. Because always the first project, you know, it's more expensive. Mm. This is the general control system of this vehicle of this side. 
application controls all the way to now and future future which will be available on this site with the controller from there. That is the general map of there on the site. There are, you can see two dots, green dots. Yes. Those are the two vehicles which could currently be uh, in operation. And uh, that is the line we are traveling right now. And the bigger one is the future. This is under construction and it will be ready soon. Uh, right now we have two vehicles, two working vehicles. One is U car for passengers, which is a luxury vehicle. And the second other one is a cargo vehicle, but it is uh, for test operations. Right now, the, because the bigger one, the original one is a, a lot bigger than this and uh, we need to test this vehicle. So, machines there which are available at present here are the, the same but more compact. So that we can test it, operate it in this weather and, uh, and certain, we can certify it. So this is uh, one more uh, type of uh, pod or car as they call it. I think this is a much faster uh, variant. So they have this uh, model here uh, on display for everyone to see and it's, it's a working model actually. It's not a, it's not a mock model, it's a working model. So as you can see, every seat has its own uh, screen as well and the seats are very nice like very comfortable and uh, you also have air conditioning so it looks more like a small uh, small plane uh, from inside aircraft from inside like a private jet or something so it's quite nice the quality is very good so this is something which will probably be able to uh, travel at speeds of 500 kilo kilometers per hour or more Lot of legroom below and lot of headroom as well. Very nice. We got the chair control systems over here uh, on the screen itself, so you can actually adjust uh, the seat as well, the reclining position as well quite nice you can also have the seats heated as well from here if you would like so as you can see
will play music and video from the control panel. So it talks about how eco-friendly it is, how safe it is, how comfort comfortable it is and how, about the cost efficiency as well. So that's all we have for you today. If you like this video, please like it and share it. Subscribe to our channel for more videos and hit the bell icon to get notified when new videos get posted. Thanks for watching.